The Morvark Zero Clutch requires minimal maintenance. There are no lubrication points or adjustments needed at any time. Just be sure to check your pads during your routine maintenance inspection. In the event that your clutch would need to be rebuilt, it can be done at a fraction of the cost and time of a conventional style clutch. It can be done quickly on the machine without having to remove the drive belt. Our Zero Clutch Rebuild Kits consist of a new set of springs and replacement pads containing a proprietary high friction material for added longevity. Now let's go over how to rebuild the Morbark Zero Clutch. Before beginning any maintenance on your machine, always wear proper clothing and personal protective equipment. Always perform the lockout tagout procedure before working on the equipment. Serious injury or death can occur if the engine is accidentally started. Begin by removing the belt shield to reveal the zero clutch. Remove the four bolts to gain access to the clutch pads. Pull out the clutch pads and flyweights with springs attached and lay down on your work surface. Remove the springs and pads from flyweights and inspect the edges for any wear marks or burrs. Install new pads and springs to the flyweights and slide back into the clutch. Reinstall the cover plate, bolts, and belt shield. Remove the lockout tag out. Start the engine and throttle up to engage the drum. Throttle the engine down and wait for the drum to stop spinning. Repeat these last two steps three times to properly seat the new pads. Your Morbark brush chipper is ready to get back to work and keep pace with you.